morning children hope you all are fine in your homes today we are going to start our online classes so first i am going to take class 4th subject maths so we will start from the chapter 1 the topic is ascending and descending order children as you know what do you mean by ascending ascending means increasing order in mathematics the orders are said to be in ascending when the numbers are arranged from the smallest to the largest so number given are 34 10 64 45 and 25 so how we will arrange the number first we have to write the smallest number so which is the smallest number from the given numbers smallest number is 10 After that, twenty-five. Then we will write thirty-four. Then forty-five. And at the last, we will write the largest number. Then the increasing of the numbers are like this. Since the numbers are arranged in an increasing order, we have to denote it by the symbol this. It will be represented like this. Ten is less than twenty-five. Is less than thirty-four, less than forty-five, and at the last sixty-four. Ascending means increasing order. Now the descending order. Descending means decreasing. Means you have to write the number from the largest to the smallest. It is just the opposite of ascending. Means here you have written the smallest number first. In descending, what you have to write? you have first to have to write the largest number then is smaller from this number is 45 then 34 then 25 and at the last 10 so this is a descending order so it is denoted by the symbol this now Example given is three, seven, eight, twenty-eight, and fifty. This you have to arrange in descending order. Similarly, you have written the first example. You have to do this example also. Like first, you have to write the largest number. So here, the largest number is twenty-eight. After that, fifteen, then eight, then seven, and then three. I think it is clear to you ascending and descending order. Now, children, I will tell you the smallest one-digit number and the largest one-digit number. Do you all have read in class third what is smallest one-digit number? The smallest one-digit number is one, and the greatest one-digit number is nine. After nine, what comes? Ten. So, ten is a two-digit number. Therefore, nine is the greatest one-digit number. Now, the two-digit smaller number is ten, and two-digit greater number is ninety-nine. Like this, you have to learn. Now, building the larger number from the given number. Suppose some numbers are given to you, and you have to make a larger number from that. So, here the number given is four nine. One seven. How you build the greatest number from the given number? So here also you have to do the same thing. First you have to write the largest number. Nine, then seven, then four, then one. It means what you have done? You have written the number in a decreasing order. When you have written the number in decreasing order, the number form will be the largest. Number clear. Now the smaller number. How you have to frame a smaller number from the same given number? The number given was four nine one seven. How you have to write the smallest number? Here you have to arrange the number in increasing order. Just the opposite means one you have to write first, then four, then seven, and then nine. So this is the smaller number, and this is the greatest number. Mean larger number you have written the 
number in decreasing order and in the smaller number what you have done you have written the number in increasing order clear to you now the question arrange the following number in ascending and the descending number the number given five digits 1 2 3 4 5 5 means 50186 the next number given is 18605 other number 80561 and at the last given 10568 the first you have to write it in the ascending order so what i have told you in ascending order what you have to write first you have to write the very smallest number so here the smallest number is 10 means 10568 you have to write first then 18605 then 50186 and at the last the largest number you have to write means 80561 and the same way you have to write this number in a descending order descending order means you have to write first the greatest number then the smaller and at the last the smallest number it is just the opposite of ascending order now the topic is rounding off numbers the first is rounding off to the nearest tens how we will round off number to the nearest ten suppose number is given 324 so we will write ones place their places we have to write first ones tens and hundred so we have to when we have to round off number to the nearest ten which number we have to see we have first we have to see the number which is on the ones digit so on ones digit the number written is 4 so it is less than 5 so if the number written is less than 5 then what we have to do the number which is on the tens digit will be like that only means 320 and the number which is on the ones digit will be replaced by zero will be replaced by zero now the another way if the number written is 328 means the digit which is on the ones place is greater than 5 it is greater than or equal to 5 then what we have to do we just increase the tens digit number by by 1 means 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and we will replace the ones digit by 0 means 328 is nearest to 330 so it is rounding off number to the nearest tens now the second is rounding off to the nearest hundreds example taken is 7249 so we have to write the places ones tens hundred and thousand in the when we have rounding of the number to the nearest tens which number we have seen we have seen the digit which is on the ones place and here which number you will see here we will see the number which is on the tens place so here the number is 4 means it is less than 5 it is less than 5 when the number is less than 5 what we have to do the number which is written on the hundred place will remain like that will remain like that and the digit which is are on the tens place and ones place will be replaced by zero it means 7249 is near about 7200 the second example i am giving to you 7269 here the number which is on the tens place is greater than 5 it is greater than 5 so if the number given is greater than 5 then what you have to do the number which is on the 100 place 
you have to increase by 1. Increase by 1 means 2 plus 1 means 3. So you will write like this 7003 here. And the digit which are on the tens place and the ones place will be replaced by 0. It means 7269 is near about 7300. Now rounding of number to the nearest thousand means the example is given to 24,382 means ones, tens, hundred, thousand and this is 10,000. 2 is on the 10,000 place. So here is the same formula we will use. But here which number we have to see? The number which is on the 100 place. The number which is on the 100 place. So which number is on the 100 place? It is 3. Means it is less than 5. So if it is less than 5, then what we have to do? The number which is written below the 1000 place will remain like that means 2, 4 and the digit which are written below the 100 place, tens place and ones place will be replaced by 0, will be replaced by 0. Now the other example means 25,382. Here you can see the number ones, tens, hundred. 1000 and 10,000. We have to see the number which is on the 100 place. Five. It is 5. Means if it is 5, then what we have to do? The number which is written on the 100 place will increase by 1. Increase by 1 means it is 5. Means 5 plus 1. It will be 6. 5 plus 1 means 6. So 2, 6. And the rest of the numbers means the digit which are on the 100th place, 10th place and on the 1's place will be replaced by 0. It means 25,582 is near about 26,000. I think you must have understood what I have told to you. Thank you children. Stay safe. Stay at home.